Good evening, hello and welcome to Brass Tax. Uh, I'm Anusha Soni. The Geeta Press that was selected for the Gandhi Peace Prize uh, for 2021 by a jury headed by none other than Prime Minister Modi. That entire prize and the selection has landed in a controversy. Well, just giving you a brief history, established in Uttar Pradesh, Gorakhpur in 1923, the publishing house Geeta Press is valued for printing religious Hindu texts to promote principles of Sanatan Dharm and to make it available at minimal cost. Geeta Press has mint, uh, printed uh, crores of copies when it comes to Geeta, Ramayan, Upanishads, Vedas and Puran. Congress uh, leader Jairam Ramesh termed the decision to confer the Gandhi Peace Prize as a travesty and equated it with awarding the likes of Nathuram Godse. Well, as expected, the BJP has sharply reacted to the statement and termed the Congress party as anti-Hindu. While there is no doubt that Gita Press has done revolutionary work in spreading awareness about Hindu epics and its values, why is the Congress party opposed to this honour? Is this mere politicization of an award or there are real substantial or historical reasons for this criticism? We discuss on Brass Tax tonight. Gita Press जो आज बटवृक्ष बन गया है और इसकी शाखाएं पूरे विश्व में फैली हुई हैं इसकी स्थापना भी बड़े रोचक ढंग से हुई है गीता प्रेस का इतिहास 29 अप्रैल 1923 से शुरू हुआ है 10 रुपए के किराए के मकान से ये शुरू हुआ है गीता प्रेस सम्मान को स्वीकार कर लेगा लेकिन उसके Gita Press Gorakhpur has been conferred with Gandhi Peace Prize. I repeat, Gandhi Peace Prize. My Prime Minister, who was the chief of the jury, says for social and cultural transformation. What kind of social and cultural transformation? Affordable literature ka nirvana karti hai. Ghar ghar mein wo pahunchi hui hai. और इसके ऊपर आरोप कौन लोग लगा रहे हैं जो कह रहे हैं कि मुस्लिम लीग सेक्युलर मैं तो समझता हूं इस प्रकार की बहस में उलझना भी अपनी ऊर्जा को व्यर्थ गवा रहा है Well, joining us uh, on the broadcast tonight is our very special guest, uh, Lalmani Tri uh, Tiwari Ji, who is the trustee of G uh, Gita Press. Uh, sir, thank you very much. Namaskar. Thank you so much for speaking to us. First of all, thank you very much. Gita Press has won award. But you have listened to the time of the Congress Party or the words of the Congress Party. They say that Gita Press has won this award, meaning that it has won this award. What is your first question about this award in the whole of the Congress Party? रही बात यह कि गीता प्रेस को सम्मान मिला है जी गांधी शांति पुरस्कार तो यह एक अंतरराष्ट्रीय स्तर का पुरस्कार है गीता प्रेस उसको स्वीकार कर रहा है और भारत सरकार को भारत सरकार के संस्कृति मंत्रालय को माननीय मुख्यमंत्री जी को और माननीय प्रधानमंत्री जी को धन्यवाद देता है और उनका आभार स्वीकार करता है आभार प्रदर्शित करता है रही बात यह कि जो पुरस्कार मिला है इस पर जयराम रमेश जी जो टिप्पणी कर रहे हैं तो हम लोग कोई राजनीतिक वक्तव्य पर टिप्पणी नहीं करते हैं और इस पर आ, क्यों मिला कैसे मिला ये समिति जाने और इस पर जो भी टिप्पणी करनी होगी जो भी वक्तव्य देना होगा वो समिति देगी जिस समिति ने हमको पुरस्कृत किया है हम उनके वक्तव्य पर कोई टिप्पणी नहीं देना चाहते um, sir, sir, एक सवाल मैं आपसे और पूछना चाहूंगी कि जब भी धर्म का प्रचार प्रसार किया जाता है या कुछ लेखक भी हैं जिनको जयराम रमेश ने कोट किया है मैं किसी का नाम नहीं लूंगी यहां पर लेकिन अक्सर धर्म के प्रचार प्रसार को एक कम्युनल एंगल दिया जाता है यह बोला जाता है कि यह किया जा रहा है लेकिन एक खास मंशा से किया जा रहा है या किसी राजनीतिक प्रोपगेंडा के तहत किया जा रहा है क्या इस पूरे कम्युनल एंगल पर आपकी राय आपकी टिप्पणी आप कैसे देखते हैं इस पूरे क्रिटिसिज्म को पहली बात यह कि अच्छे मुकुल की पुस्तक पर हम कमेंट नहीं करना चाहते और नहीं अच्छे मुकुल को मैं क्यों एक अथॉरिटी मानता हूं दोनों जाते हैं अगर हम गीता प्रेस किसी के पुस्तक पर कोई कमेंट करता है तो इसका मतलब यह है कि उसका अस्तित्व तो उसके सामने है गीता प्रेस अपने आप में एक संस्था है जो किसी भी धर्म का बिना खंडन किए सनातन धर्म का प्रचार और सौ सालों से करता चला रहा है अब तक गीता प्रेस 
तिरानवे करोड़ से अधिक पुस्तकें पाठकों को उपलब्ध करा पाया है और अगर पिछले वर्ष में देखू वित्तीय वर्ष 2022 और 2023 में तो कल्याण की संख्या जोड़ लें तो दो करोड़ चालीस लाख पुस्तकें हमने उपलब्ध कराई है जिसको मूल्य में देखें तो इतने नियंत्रित मूल्य पर होने के बाद भी पुस्तक हमारी 111 करोड़ से अधिक मूल्य की है तो पाठकों का इतना बड़ा समर्थन हमारे साथ में है पाठकों का इतना बड़ा विश्वास हमारे साथ में है यही हमारा बल है यही हमारा संबल है और हम विश्व बंधुत्व के लिए काम करते हैं मानव मात्र के कल्याण के काम के लिए काम करते हैं और सनातन धर्म के प्रचार प्रसार के लिए काम करते हैं और सनातन धर्म का उद्देश्य भी विश्व बंधुत्व और मानव कल्याण मानव मात्र का कल्याण है आपने आपने बताया कि सारी पुस्तकें करोड़ों कृतियां जो आप अभी तक छाप चुके हैं लोगों तक पहुंचा चुके हैं बहुत ही कम कीमत पर कम मूल्य पर ये लोगों को मिल जाती है आपने धनराशि लेने से क्यों मना कर दिया देखिए ऐसा है कि गीता प्रेस अपने स्थापना काल से ही किसी प्रकार का न कोई सम्मान स्वीकार करता था और न ही कोई धनराशि स्वीकार करता है तो अब स्थितियां परिस्थितियों को देखते हुए अगर भारत सरकार ने यह सम्मान गीता प्रेस को दिया है तो उस सम्मान के सम्मान में हम मान पत्र स्वीकार कर रहे हैं लेकिन चूंकि गीता प्रेस किसी प्रकार का आर्थिक सहयोग किसी से नहीं लेता है इसलिए उसे मिलने वाली उसके साथ मिलने वाली एक करोड़ की जो धनराशि है उसको हम लोग विनम्रता के साथ अस्वीकार कर रहे हैं जी लेकिन आ, कुछ आलोचनाएं हैं सर जो पब्लिक डोमेन में आ, इस समय हैं और मैं बिना किसी का नाम लिए ये सारी आलोचनाएं आपके सामने रख रही हूं ताकि आप इन पर अपनी राय दे सकें गीता प्रेस का बयान दे सकें कहीं ना कहीं ये बोला जाता है कि जब आप एक धार्मिक एंगल से बात करते हैं या किसी धर्म का प्रचार या प्रसार करते हैं तो उसमें कहीं ना कहीं एक रिग्रेसिविज्म होता है एक पुरानी सोच एक रूढ़ीवादी सोच होती है जहां तक विमेन राइट्स की बात है औरतों के बराबरी के अधिकार की बात है या दलित इंक्लूजन की बात है गीता प्रेस का जो कास्ट रिजर्वेशन या कास्ट सिस्टम पे पूरा स्टैंड है क्या आप जिस विचारधारा को फॉलो करते हैं वो प्रोग्रेसिव विचारधारा है ऐसा है जिन लोग ऐसा बात कहते हैं वो गीता प्रेस को सही माने में पढ़े नहीं है हमारी धारणा आयत्र नारियस्तु पूज्यंते रमनते तत्र देवता हमारी धारणा वसुधेव कुटुम्बकम की है हम जो भी ग्रंथ छाप रहे हैं जो भी पुस्तकें छाप रहे हैं वो चरित्र निर्माण के लिए छाप रहे हैं हमारे यहाँ से संत अंक छपा गीता प्रेस के कल्याण के माध्यम से जिसमें सभी धर्म सभी धर्मों के संतों के विषय में विस्तृत वर्णन किया गया है हमारे यहाँ संत वाणी अंक छपा जिसमे सभी धर्म के संतों की वाणिया छापी गई है तो हम केवल ऐसा नहीं है हम केवल छाप रहे हैं तो विश्व बंधुत्व की भावना और प्राणियों में सद्भावना के लिए छाप रहे हैं बाकी हमारा कोई और ऐसा कोई काम और उद्देश्य नहीं है मेरा मेरा आपसे अंतिम प्रश्न त्रिपाठी जी कि आ, आज के युवा लोगों के लिए आज की युवा पीढ़ी के लिए गीता प्रेस या आप जिस तरह की पुस्तकें छापते हैं या जिस तरह की धार्मिक पुस्तकों का लोगों में प्रचार करते हैं कितनी प्रासंगिक है कितनी कॉन्टेक्सुअल है कितनी इंपॉर्टेंट है मॉडर्न जनरेशन के लिए देखिए ऐसा है कि हमने सौ से अधिक पुस्तकें बाल साहित्य के लिए छापा है बच्चों के लिए सौ से अधिक पुस्तकें छापा है जिसमें कथा गघा और एबीसीडी से लेकर के इंटर और बीए तक के विद्यार्थियों के लिए है हमने पढ़ो समझो और पढ़ो समझो और करो छापा है जिस जो बड़ी प्रेरणादायक कहानियां हैं कहानियों की पुस्तकें हमने छापा है तो बहुत सारे साहित्य हमने छापा है जिससे हमारे बच्चे हमारे युवा सब हमसे जुड़े हुए हैं इस समय हमारी पुस्तकें दो से अधिक ऑनलाइन फ्री डाउनलोड करने के लिए उपलब्ध है फ्री पढ़ने के लिए उपलब्ध है और उसमें भी हम 500 पुस्तकें भी इसी साल करने जा रहे हैं तो हम युवा वर्ग के लिए या हर पीढ़ी के लिए हम पुस्तकें उपलब्ध कराए हैं और हमारा साहित्य आगे भी इसी तरह से उपलब्ध कराते रहेंगे लालमनी त्रिपाठी जी बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया हमसे बात करने के लिए अपने समय देने के लिए और मेरी शुभकामनाएं आपको ऑन विनिंग दिस अवार्ड थैंक यू सो मच joining us on the broadcast well uh, here's another special guest joining us on the broadcast today live we have mr tushar gandhi who's the great grandson of mahatma gandhi he is with us on the show today uh, mr gandhi thank you so much for speaking with us uh, good to have you on the show today uh, the statement of jairam ramesh i'm sure you must have gone through the statement which is in public domain and he equates the award that has been given to geeta press as you know giving an award to nathuram godse how do you see that statement your first thoughts on it well it's not uh, very off the target or the bullseye because uh, 
the founders and uh, people of the Gita press were accused in the Gandhi murder uh, case. And mm. so uh, it's not really too far-fetched a criticism. Uh, mm. I will not uh, go into the merits of uh, Gita press or the demerits of Gita press. The, my only, uh, you know, the, the, the announcement amused me because the Gandhi Peace Award was constituted with two objective, objectives. One is that people who have worked to promote Gandhian ideals and values and things, and it was supposed to be given to them in recognition of their uh, work in uh, promoting those ideals. Gita Press throughout has always uh, opposed many of Babu's ideals and uh, the objectives of his life. And so I don't know where, what justification the selection committee had to uh, select them. The other reasoning could be to enthuse them to follow the Gandhian path. It doesn't seem as if uh, hmm. they are at all interested in that uh, ideology because uh, the Sanatan Dharm that Gita Press talks about is more of the Sanatan Dharm that Nathuram Godse claimed to be hmm. uh, a protector of. The Sanatan Dharm that Bapu professed and called himself a Sanatani was very different from both. And so in on, on those guidelines also, it is very astonishing that uh, the Prime Minister and his selection committee hmm. uh, felt that Gita Press deserved uh, that prize. So, it would be nice if they could uh, come out and say, give the justification of their selection. Uh, to me, it sound, seems as if they are just displaying their sense of humor in giving Gita Press the Gandhi Peace Award. They could have given them many other awards that the government generally hands out, mm. particularly giving them Gandhi Peace Award. The only justification I feel is that the Prime Minister wants to tell the world that he has a very warped sense of humor. Mr. Gandhi, um, while I while I uh, I take your views and and the place where they're coming from, but and I'm sure you know this that uh, Hanuman Prasad Podar and various other uh, leaders at that time before the independence who were instrumental in starting the Gita Press back in the 1920s before independence had deep engagement with Mahatma Gandhi. You are absolutely right that there were huge differences of opinions when it comes to you know the the you know the status of Dalits or the rights of women the temple entry and various other issues, but there was a deep sense of engagement despite ideological differences between the two sides. Yes, there was an engagement also, uh, uh, the, the very hardline uh, Hindu people that doesn't make them qualified to receive a prize that commemorates the ideology. You know, you, you can, I have absolutely no issues with the Prime Minister and the Selection Committee mm. respecting uh, Gita Press. Mm. They have the right to do that and Gita Press has uh, in a way uh, justified that. Mm. The Gandhi Peace Prize was constituted with a certain objective okay. and it was given to people who fell into a certain definition that was uh, also decided for qualification for that prize and I don't mm. think Gita Press in, in that uh, aspect qualifies for it. So it would be best if you were to ask the Prime Minister for a justification for the prize because uh, mm. I am not associated with the selection committee, neither am I associated with the uh, prize, so I'm not qualified to talk about it. But as a person who is concerned about the Gandhi legacy, mm. It feels to me that it is a travesty. All right, I've, I've taken those points. Thank you, Mr. Tushar Gandhi, for joining us on the broadcast and sharing your views and perspective on this award that has been conferred. Let's uh, take this question to our panelists as well. We have Mr. Ajay Alok, who's a spokesperson of the BJP, Tehseen Poonawala, who's a political analyst, Mr. Shiv Khera, who's an author, writer, and a well-known academician, is also joining us on the broadcast. Good evening, gentlemen. Thank you so much for speaking with us. Ajay Ji, coming to you first, taking in a view from you, you just heard Tushar Gandhi, and he says, if you had to honor Gita Press, there were a lot of honors that you could have given them. Why the Gandhi Peace Prize? I don't uh, agree to what Tushar Gandhi has said. Yeah. It has been decided 
by the committee who was looking into it that the Gita Press qualifies for this award and that's why this award has been conferred on them. Hmm. Now what is the problem? And where is the problem? Try and get into the roots of the problem. Hmm. If any organization who is propagating Sanatan Dharma through its publications for the last hundred years and where there is a, no documentary evidence that it has promoted communal values or done anything like that, hmm. what is the problem in awarding that award? Hmm. You are basic. You have basically problem that with the yourself, Congress Party. I'm. I know this will create some rough feathers. Hmm. But just imagine when, after imposing emergency, Indira Gandhi can bet Bharat Ratna. After 1984, Sikh rights, hmm. for which everybody holds Rajiv Gandhi responsible, he can get Bharat Ratna. Hmm. But Gita Press cannot get Gandhi Peace Foundation Prize. What is the logic? Hmm. And what? Terms they have said that Nathuram, it's like awarding Nathuram Godse and Savarkar. Hmm. Savarkar is same as Nathuram Godse. What is the choice of thinking is basically their narrative of being anti-Hindu. Hmm. Just to demean Hinduism, anybody who promotes Hinduism, anybody who talks about Sanatan Dhan, hmm. Congress becomes allergic to that. Hmm. That's because for the last 25 years since the Congress reign came into the hands of Mr. Sonia Gandhi, the whole character of Congress party. Hmm. It took a tectonic shift, hmm. a tectonic shift towards minoritism, hmm. appeasement, and gradually becoming, largely becoming anti-Hindu. Look at the well, speeches they give. Yeah, they I compare mean, Hindu I mean, dharma to Boko Dharam and ISIS. Mr. Mr. Hindu as Mr. Hindu as Mr. Ajay, look, I, 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 take your, I take your criticism to the Congress statements and the way they've been put out in the public domain. But the point that Tushar Gandhi was also making, and I want to do want to bring in that point, that Mahatma Gandhi had a lot of ideological differences with the founders of the Gita Press and their own version of what Sanatan Dharma was all about. And those differences were too stark to be ignored. They could have been given some prize, but not the prize which was named after Mr. Mahatma Tushar. Gandhi. Yeah. Okay. Mr. Tushar Gandhi, then he should have gone and read the scripts. That there are innumerable uh, scripts written by Mahatma Gandhi himself for Gita Press hmm. in their magazine. Hmm. Mr. Jamna Lal Bajaj and Mr. Poddar, they were very much friendly to Mahatma Gandhi. When Mahatma Gandhi was ill in the jail, when he took out, came out, he stayed in, the Mah in Mr. Poddar's house. Hmm. In spite of the differences, in spite of the ideological differences, hmm. they were very friendly. Hmm. There is evidence about that. And this Congress government only, in 1992, under Mr. P. V. Nasimha Rao, hmm. they released the stamp on Mr. Poddar. Hmm. Even he was, uh, he was recommended for Bharat Ratan hmm. by the UP government hmm. to the government of India. Hmm. All hmm. these done by the Congress government itself. Hmm. Why today they have a problem? That's what I'm telling you. Because the last 25 years, Congress has taken a tectonic shift towards being anti-Hindu. So anybody who's doing a work for Sanatani, Sanatan Dharm, Hinduism, Congress is allergic to that form. That is the only reason. Otherwise, this useless criticism was not at all required. They should apologize. All right, they should apologize. That's the word coming in. Tehseen, a quick word from you, then I want to bring in Mr. Shiv Khera as well into the discussion. Good evening, Anisha. Thank Good you evening. so much for having me on the show. There are three or four points that I would like to bring to your, hmm. um, to your viewers. Why are you? Number one, congratulations to the Gita Press on this award. Do I tend to agree with what my friend Tushar Gandhi said? It's hmm. something I've been articulating since evening. Nobody is opposed to the Gita Press getting any award. In fact, it was the Congress government that honored them a, by recommending them for the Bharat Ratna, mm. for Pandit Jawaharlal Nehruji was Prime Minister of the Congress government, and by removing a stamp in their honor. Mm. So, Gita Press is then yeoman service, yeoman service mm. for India and Hinduism. Mm. This isn't about Indian and Hinduism. Mm. What this is about, and if I may be allowed to articulate this, any award could have been given, but when you have people who were accused of the assassination of Mahatma Gandhi, of course later they were exonerated. Mm. And then you award them with the Gandhi Award. It is, for example, and I never like to be personal, me accusing your channel of, of being biased and then coming on your channel and then, you know, or the promoters of your channel and coming on your channel and backing eloquence or taking an award. Mm. So I think there is a double speak. Nobody is against Hinduism. The Congress is the only mm. Hindu nationalist party in this country. That's point number one. Mm. Point number two, Anusha, I would like to ask you a personal question and that's mm. where I'd like to end it. Mm. Women must be under the care of their fathers. Mm. They cannot be left independent. Later on, they must be under the protection of their husband. And if their husbands die, they must be under the protection of a male relative or their son. Hmm. There's the founder of uh, the Gita Press. 
These are their views on women empowerment, and I'm not against that. That could be his mm. personal views. However, mm. this is against what Gandhi stood for, because my Mahatma, mm. my Bapu, who, by the way, my grandfather served Gandhi in jail, mm. Mm. was for women empowerment, okay. and therefore the only question is the Gandhi Award. Congratulations mm. to Geeta Press on an award, but they could have been given any award. It mm. is actually Congress that gave him award. The BJP has done nothing for the Geeta Press. Mm. All right, point taken. I, I want to cut across to Mr. Shiv Khera, who is uh, with us on the broadcast. So it's always a pleasure to have you. But when we talk about the work that has been done by Geeta Press and the award that they've got, it is somewhere lost in the sharp political voices that we are hearing from the Congress Party and the response coming in from the BJP. What's your candid opinion, sir? Did they deserve to get this prize? All I can say is, Geeta Press has served the country for a hundred years now, hmm. and the amount of work that they have done towards promoting peace. Probably that is the reason why they got the Peace Prize. Hmm. The name Gandhi is attached to them, to the, the, the prize. Now, they got granted, they might have had differences, but differences are healthy. Who says that differences are wrong? Hmm. And besides, if there are differences, hmm. does that mean make Gita Press promoters wrong? And does it make Gandhi right? Hmm. I mean, who says that Gandhi was always right? Hmm. So, I mean, if they had differences, what was So Shiv Khera, I think we seem to have lost that connection with you. We'll just fix that. We'll just fix that and get back to you on that. Tessin, coming back to you. Um, Geeta Press, Press as, you, as you rightly said, has done a commendable job. And Mr. Shiv Khera was also pointing out that the, that the publication has been very instrumental in ensuring that at each and every home across the country and uh, people across faith in India want to read Bhagavad Gita or various other texts, which are the historical heritage of this country. And they did it at a very minimal cost. There might have been ideological differences that existed between the two sides. But that being said, or the fact that there were certain differences with Mahatma Gandhi, does, they, uh, does it make them untouchable of sorts? Because, because the Congress Party is directly comparing Gita Press to Nathuram Godse. No, it doesn't make them untouchable. It huh. shouldn't. And to that extent, I agree with my friend Ajay Alokji. You have, uh, apart from everything else, you have elections in three Hindi heartland states. And yesterday, the entire the media and social media was focused on Manipur. So why go ahead and score these uh, silly self goals and make this the polarizing issue when mm. you have massive issues to put the government down? So to that extent, I think the BJP is a failed government and the Congress has uh, scored a self goal. Mm. But let me make a larger question, uh, answer a larger question, uh, point to what you see. Mm. If they, it was only a question of ideological differences, I would have mm. understood that, perhaps even celebrated that. I'm one for diversity. Mm. And that's what I respect Shiv Kheraji, a very eminent author. Mm. What my limited point is, they were accused of murder. Yes, the they were later exonerated. Hmm. When you're accused of murder and then exonerated, to that point, not the Gandhi Award, any other award. Hmm. Therefore, I say Gita Press is a yeoman service for our country. Hmm. And I respect that. It is only but but Tehseen, this, this is also point. the same but, political but, but, party. Just one, line. Just, just one interjection, Tehseen. You can respond to that sure. as well before I go back sure. to Mr. Shiv Khed and Mr. Ajay Alok. That sure. this is the same Congress party whose leader termed the Indian Union Muslim League as a secular party. And we know That's the true. kind, and we know the kind of orthodox conservative position and stand that this particular political party has. But yes. they are secular. That's a fantastic question. Thank you for putting it across so hmm. brilliantly. Because the Congress is the only party in this country. My Mahatma's party is the only party in this country hmm. that can bring extremists like the Shiv Sena and the Indian Muslim Union League into the center and within our constitution. It's a great tent that brings extremists into the center. And therefore, the Congress is the soul of India. Thank you for putting that so beautifully. But let me again reiterate. Hmm. I have nothing against the Gita Press except for respect. It's only in that limited context. Hmm. But I completely give in to the BJP spokesperson and my friend Ajay Alokji hmm. that this is a self goal. It was not needed, particularly in case of Manipur, where mm. the government has failed this country. Mm. We should have focused on Manipur. I completely give in to that. All right, Mr. Mr. Ajay Alok, um, a lot of a lot of criticism was made of Gita Press by certain people who have written few accounts, few books. There's one book which was quoted by Mr. Jairam Ramesh as well. And the author in his interview cites how the organization or the particular publication in the past in history has had very regressive views when it comes to women, when it comes to the, the uh, entry of uh, Dalits in the temples or their position when the Hindu court bill was introduced in the country then how can this particular organization or publication deserve such honor? That's what the critics say, sir. I want your response on that. Mr. Ajay Alok. Yeah, recently, uh, just, uh, yeah, the Congress is also mentioning a book called Gauratn, 
in 1946, where they say that uh, the seeds of Dadri were sown in that book. Now, when I went through that book, I found that that book was written by none other than uh, Rajendra Prasad ji, hmm. none other than uh, Mohan Das Karamchand Gandhi ji, hmm. Madan Mohan Malviya ji. Oh, everybody had a column in that book. Hmm. Now, Congress means to say that Mohan Das Karamchand Gandhi, my Mahatma, as what Tehsin is saying, hmm. Congress believed that they had sown the seed of Dadri. All these kind of useless allegation just to defame organization who is working for the last hundred years hmm. for Sanatan Dhan. A very common question for your you, for your viewers: hmm. Who will hate an organization who publishes twelve crores Ramcharit Manas? Hmm. Who will hate an organization who publishes and distributes sixteen crores Gita? Okay. Who will hate? Mr. 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 Shivkera, I, I, I'm coming back to you. There are there are few things which are always mentioned for Gita Press, and especially the case pertaining to assassination of Mahatma Gandhi, and uh, the the fact that some members of the organization of publication were rounded up and le later they were let off without any conviction is often raised as a criticism of that particular publication. I also mentioned about certain social views that the organization had in the past. These were views that was uh, that were expressed before we got independence, but even to Today they are held as some kind of a hallmark, some kind of a proof, as if the organization doesn't deserve any kind of mainstream respect. Your your thoughts on that, Mr. Kira? Um, first of all, I I don't know where I got cut off, but Gita Press has been in India hmm. for the past more than hundred years, and they have been serving the Indian society to the best of their ability and spreading out a message of peace, happiness. And harmony all over the country. If you look at all their messages that are going all over the country, where the Bhagavad Gita, mm. Ramayan, all these things that are going, this is all a message of peace. Mm. And granted, pre-independence, they might have had differences between them and Mahatma Gandhi. But then the question is: Is this disagreement is is it always bad? Well, then isn't this part of democracy? Hmm. And number two, if they have these differences, tell me, what says that the Gita press promoters were wrong? And hmm. what says that Gandhi was right always? Hmm. He was not always right. Hmm. And in fact, the, I have read some of the uh, quotes by Mahatma Gandhi saying that if the Muslims kill the Hindus, it's okay. They should not even retaliate. They should be happy about it. Hmm. Well, how many people would agree with that? This is like when Mohan Singh saying that the Indian Muslims have the first right on all India's resources. Hmm. I mean, does that make all Indian Hindus second class citizens? Hmm. Is that the right thing? So they are secular. Tell me if with those kind of statements, are they secular? Hmm. If anybody calls them secular, I don't understand what they really mean by it. And just look at it, 1995, the Waqf Vote Act was passed by the Congress, mm. which says any property they want to take, they can take. Is that what secularism is all about? All right. I think BJP ought to repeal these acts. Mm. And really, if you look at it, uh, the peace prize that has gone to Gita Press, in my opinion, has been gone for peace. Yes, the mm. word Gandhi has been attached to it. No doubt about it. Hmm. And disagreement is not always wrong. I just want to give me, please give me one more point here. Sure. I'd like to make sure. a point. Hmm. And Gandhiji was a big proponent of Bhagwan Ram, the Ram Charitramanas. Hmm. Now, my question is, was Ram a Gandhian? Hmm. In fact, somebody said, who's a Gandhian? Hmm. Anybody who can win everybody with love is a Gandhian. Right. Two, tolerance is Gandhi's trait. Hmm. And third is nonviolence. Okay. Let me ask you, okay. was Ram able to win with love? Everybody, hmm. answer is no. Hmm. Did he say, I'm very tolerant to kidnap Sita? I get a second Sita. He said, I don't tolerate kidnappers. Right. And three, you talk of non violence. I think, I think to your points, to your, to your points, gun. to and your he, points, Mr. Kera, there's a quick rebuttal that Tahseen has. Tahseen, please and, and go he ahead. Kill, and he killed Ravan on the other side. So he was All not right. a Gandhian either. All right. So my point is, that disagreement is not always wrong. Even some of the greatest people, well, certainly Gandhi does not have the status of Ram. Ram is way, way up. So obviously he did not follow that system. All right. Tessin, please go ahead. Make your point. Of course, Gandhi, uh, my Mahatma is not equivalent to Ram. Hmm. Ram was a god. My Mahatma was a human being who celebrated differences. Hmm. But his differences that were celebrated 
I don't know how differences can be celebrated when you say women cannot be uh, left alone. My Gandhi was a champion of women's rights. Mm. I don't know how differences can be celebrated mm. when you oppose the 1949 um, Hindu Code Bill reforms that not only empowered women but empowered our SP, SP citizens. Mm. I'm a great fan of, of, of authors and I love reading books. Mm. Uh, but, you know, I'm not a fan of WhatsApp. Mm. Prime Minister Dr. Manmohan Singh, the greatest Prime Minister after Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, never said the first right of the of for Muslims. Mm. He said, for my Minorities, which include ST, ST and linguistic minorities as well. Hmm. Therefore, I say there's a context to everything which we must come in. So to let me end this with one last thing. Yeah. I again say the Gita press has done yeoman service. Hmm. Of course, there have been differences. Hmm. All that we are talking about is somebody accused in the assassination of Mahatma Gandhi. But they were accused there, see, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, they were accused. I mean, we ought to respect the process of law, the fact that they were accused, the fact that they were, they were accused and they were let off without any conviction, that the charge did not stick on them. I, I I believe about 20,000 people were rounded off when Mahatma Gandhi was unfortunately assassinated in in this, in this country, rounded off, rounded off, not, not accused, you're right. Yes, yes, yes. But, but they were let off. Yes. Yes, of course they were. Mm. And therefore, I'm just saying that they were exonerated and that's fine. But that's the only sticking point. They, this has nothing to do with Hinduism because Hinduism is a great way of life in our country, which the Congress has propagated. Who uh, award, who, who, who gave the name for Bharat? Well, it's who only strange the they're seen the that, that, that a very, that a very conservative that? ideology within a particular community can be called secular. But honoring the Gita Press in this country, which has only done a philanthropic job, raises political questions and eyebrows. But that's the brand of politics that we are witnessing in this country. Tehseen Punawala, uh, Mr. Thank Shiv Khera and Mr. Ajalo. Thank you, gentlemen, for joining us on the broadcast. That's all the time that we have today.